I have been there. Sorry, Sue. Sorry. I, okay, I've been there for 30 years. And we started doing commercial and residential moves and we realized that seniors were getting ripped off when they were being moved. So we decided to have a, a senior moving team and concentrate on ways to help them pack, to help them move, to help them unpack and help family members with ideas uh, of ways to make the move more comfortable. We also have a shipping arm. So when there's things that the seniors don't want, to take with them. We have them ship it to family members and the seniors feel like they've done something important when they're moving, like they're not losing out anymore. Their family members are gaining. So I am Sue with Pack and Send Houston. We ship, we move in Houston. We bring people in from other cities to Houston and we move people out of Houston also. Give us the address and we will do the rest. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Good morning, Boshka. your turn. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Fauska Bashabe. I am a family nurse practitioner uh, with advanced healthcare practice. I do house calls and telemedicine. And uh, before that, I was a registered nurse. I worked in multiple ICUs in the Houston area and in Michigan. And uh, the reason I, I decided to do house calls as a nurse practitioner is I noticed a gap between uh, people who are not able to actually go to the clinics. And so I wanted to extend services to people that do not want to go to the clinics or are unable to go to the clinic. So I serve anybody that wants me to come to their home to treat them at home and everything your primary care provider would do. Uh, thank you. And I'm in Richmond, Texas, but I serve the entire Houston. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, Morgan Williams. Hi, everybody. Hi, my live friends. I see some familiar faces. Uh, I'm Morgan Williams. Yes, hi, guys. Uh, I'm with Friendly Faces Senior Care, so we're non-medical caregiving services, and um, I see some other partners in home care, too. Um, so we provide toileting, bathing, um, meal preparation, transportation. So anything that the seniors need extra in their home, we provide. And we um, are located, we have different territories. I cover Med Center, um, Katy, Memorial City. And then we've got um, Sugarland, League City, Pearland, Conroe and the Woodlands. Um, so pretty much anywhere you need, we can help. Um, and it's great to have some home care partners servicing other areas too, in case we need you. So Morgan Williams, Friendly Faces Senior Care, and I hope I'll get to be in person next month. Excellent, thank you. Nice to meet you. Elizabeth Grieber, you are next. Hello, good morning. My name is Elizabeth Grieber. My company is Everson Cooper, and we work with homeowners that um, are transitioning out of their longtime family homes into senior communities, or they're building a smaller home, or they are uh, moving in with family, any number of situations where they're moving out of the house and they either cannot or do not want to do the work that is necessary in order to fix it up or make the repairs and things like that. And so we will come in as an option for them to be able to move on. And we work with Bill and Carmen and other realtors like them. Um, we want to be able to support this family and to give them an option of selling as is. And um, so if you know someone who might be in that situation, please I would be happy to talk to you or to them and see how we can help. And I got into real estate investing. My grandparents were investors. And when my husband and I bought our first house, I wanted a house to fix up. And so we bought just that. And our kitchen renovation was the um, like the launch, like the launch point almost for our business, which was pretty cool. So anyways, um, I'm Elizabeth with Everson Cooper. Thank you. Before we move on to the main room, I'd like to remind everyone that we have partnered with the YMCA and they have a Forever Well Senior Education Series. And we are the speakers. So if you're interested in speaking, please let me know. This month, we have the Elder Law and You with Jocelyn Urich and Carolyn Ortego. So that is the fourth Wednesday of every month at the Langham Creek Family YMCA. 
So be sure and watch for your newsletters because everyone that's signed up to get a newsletter from us gets all this information. Thank you. Okay, Bill, over to you. All right, thank you. Thank you all um, that attended online. I really appreciate that. Um, before we go in here, a couple of reminders. If you haven't, and if you are on Facebook, if you wanna check in and, uh, and if you wanna take pictures and put them on there, you can do that too. Um, and I do want to say thank you to Keely and Brookdale. I didn't do that when we started. So thank you, uh, Keely and Brookdale, for hosting us here. Appreciate that. Um, Mary mentioned the YouTube channel. So we'll go around the room here. Um, I didn't really introduce myself. My name is Bill Graff. I am a residential real estate agent for 13 years in Houston, full-time. Was in the corporate world for many, 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 many years, a lifetime before that. Um, and I am a seniors real estate specialist, which there's in 40 something thousand agents in Houston, there's probably less than 5% that are actually have that extra designation and have the knowledge to work with seniors. So I'm part of CBNA Realtors, uh, which is the larger brokerage. And I'm on a team with Carmen Donaldson, who's not able to be here, but, um, and we are the Graf Donaldson Realty team. So if you ever have anybody that's looking to move out needs a just an evaluation of their home evaluation any evaluation let me know i'll be glad to help them talk to them and see what what's the best route for them to go it could be could be elizabeth it could be a reverse mortgage to stay at home it just depends on what their situation is so um we don't do hard sales we just uh, listen and find out what the situation is so. um okay so with that let's uh i guess we'll start in front so we'll just go down the rows Go ahead. Is this way or face that way? Well, you know, just kind of, <laughs> I don't know. This way, right here. He's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Turn that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're in a pretty good position there, sir. Yeah. I'm Alan Berger, and I help seniors who want to stay in their homes but are concerned about running out of money to find the funds that didn't know were available so they can stay in their home. And those funds actually help the members here because some of the services that we offer, they, the homeowner, the senior homeowner, doesn't think they can afford. So if I can show the senior homeowner that they have funds they didn't know they had, they can afford some of the services that we are trying to give them. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Joyce and Yurik with Vortigo and Yurik, and we are the speakers this month for the YMCA, and we're pretty excited about it. Uh, we practice in the area of elder law and estate planning, and uh, we have quite a few people who, I guess it's really the, the children of the people who are needing help who call us often and um, are just seeking to find out what they can do for their for their. <laughs> I'm going to stand right here. How's that? Okay, for their parents, and um, I got into this, I've been practicing law for almost 30 years, not quite, and um, I started out in real estate, and then moved in and started doing some estate planning or whatever, and then we started seeing a need, Caroline and I combined our practices last year, she was doing mostly estate planning, and um, it's basically taken off, and we're finding that with our aging population, we're just in a, a really good niche right now, you know, and, and finding those people and helping those people and it's very fulfilling. And I also wanted to mention to Viking and Brandon that we're in the Katy area and it'd be good if we could do a one-on-one -on -one and, and speak because we have a lot of people who are needing the services that you provide. Anyway, Joyce and Eric, what are going to do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Good morning, everybody. Troy with Oasis Senior Advisors. Which way? Just turn clockwise, clockwise. They're looking at the back, so that's all right. Thank you. Well, that's actually the best view. I'm sorry. Man, I'm telling you, this is going to work. <laughs> Have I used up my minute yet? <laughs> 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 with Oasis Senior Advisors. We help simplify the decision on senior living and senior care. 
like to think of myself as the puzzle master of senior order, and you all are my puzzle pieces. Families don't know what that box stop looks like. We help them make that box stop, put the puzzle together, help them make that decision. Uh, this actually satisfies two personal goals, the business that I'm in. It's uh, to serve folks in critical and urgent need, and I get to do it right where I live in my unit. Troy Oasis, Senior Advisor, Northwest Houston. Awesome. All right, let's see if I can get turned around here correctly. <laughs> That's right. There we go. There we go. Screen. Hey, Jim Galpin, I'm a certified financial planner with Ameriprise. Uh, kind of like Troy said, puzzle master. I'm a financial puzzle master. There's a lot of different things that come into your finances. And as I was saying earlier, people are worried about having that pay for senior services. I help them figure out that puzzle and put it together. Um, do it for mainly kids who are all of a sudden have to manage mom and dad's money and take care of them. All the way on down to retirement and college planning. Jim Galpin with Ameriprise, certified financial planner. Thank you. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, we can move. Yes, my name is Mike Winfield, Senior Health Services. I'm a Medicare broker. Um, I've always said Medicare is very confusing, so I like to think of myself as Indiana Jones with the Medicare. <laughs> now, the reason I did start this is I started when I left oil and got someone into life insurance, and I had the fortune of actually having lunch with somebody who did Medicare. We were talking about our experiences, and I found out it can really have a great impact, especially when we think about confusion. And that's on one level, but when you sit with a family and you can have that positive impact and make it pot, a really tremendous change and see that appreciation on the family, that was the reason I went into this and stayed with that. Um, it, it's the ability to help families. So again, Mike Winfield, Senior Health Services, and thank you very much. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, there I am, sort of me. Uh, my name is Don Pruitt. I own Pruitt and Associates Insurance Agency. And like Mike, I am a Medicare specialist. Uh, I've been doing it now for almost 22 years. Uh, I got started in the business when I was actually helping my two brothers get onto Social Security and Medicare. I live here in Houston, but they live in Michigan. And I realized it was more of a major maze than I had ever understood Medicare to be. And when you're trying to do it from 2,500 miles away, it is even worse. So I really started digging in and getting more and more involved in Medicare. Uh, and I had a, a man who was my mentor in the insurance business, and he had been selling insurance for 60 years and did Medicare when it started in 1965. Uh, and he taught me so many things about this. And it really started to, to gel when more and more people from my church and from my neighborhood found out that I did Medicare stuff. And they just started bombarding me with questions that I couldn't answer. So I decided I really had to dig down and get into this stuff. And uh, over the last I don't know now, I guess it's 14 years I have been uh, certified with, with Medicare, uh, CMS, certified, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Um, as is Mike is certified, we all have to be now uh, to be able to do these things. But I was in the first training class here in Houston for the Medicare Advantage plan. Uh, there were 14 of us in there and I had no idea how many people are in the business now. Uh, lots is right. Um, my primary scope of area is I live in the Katy area and I, I work out of my home. Um, I don't travel as much as I used to. I'm not going to the Woodlands and the Galveston and all those places anymore. But I have people that I know who work those areas that I can refer them to that I would send my mother to. And that's my principle. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. Don Pruin, Pruin and Associates. Thank you. Um, <laughs> 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 That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Cindy Andrus with uh, Interim Healthcare. We're a 
mm -hmm. home uh, care, private duty staffing agency uh, throughout Houston. Also, uh, Houston Southeast, uh, we are going to be the new chapter of uh, SCCN. Coming up next month, we'll have our first meeting in our local area. And Keely, I'll need to talk to you about that. Of course. <laughs> I started in healthcare back in 97. I owned a medical journal for 12 years and uh, transitioned into consulting for other medical businesses and then came to <clears throat> Texas a couple of years ago. And uh, am now working with Don Bloomer, who is the owner of Interim South Houston Southeast. Uh, we're a franchise company. We've been uh, in business over 50 years. Uh, we're locally owned, and Dawn Wimmer is an RN herself and actually uh, handles cases that we have uh, for our business. And the reason for me coming into the healthcare industry uh, most recently was that I had three family members that were living with me that decided they didn't want to be in a nursing home. They wanted to uh, age and and pass away in a, in a loving family environment. And so I took care of three of my family members in the last year and a half wow. and decided to uh, take mm -hmm. on this new role with Interim to further that goal. And it's been very rewarding. And it's a pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Final spot. <laughs> Good morning, Stephen King, King Insurance and Senior Health Services. I'm also a Medicare agent, and I'm one of those pieces of the puzzle. Uh, 35 years as an agent and 18 years now with Medicare, and it started when I helped my parents. And when after I did that, my mom reached across the table, grabbed my hand and said, you need to remember everyone sitting here is like your mom and dad, and it still puts a chill in me. And so I treat all my clients the same. I do Medicare 101 seminars. And I try to make sure everyone understands how to start from turning 65 into government, um, medicare.gov and all the way through the program. And also to make sure that their Medicare plan will cover most expenses. There are some things Medicare doesn't cover, but to make sure that when they're in there, they can do things. And that's where Jim comes in and the other financial planners to make sure they have assets to do it. Stephen King, the insurance and senior health services. Hi, my name is Lori Ferris, and I'm the founder of Senior Living Specialist Houston. <laughs> and um, I help um, families <laughs> navigate the maze of senior living communities, um, keeping like safety and care as the top priority. There's a lot of things, other things that go into a decision, like location and powers of attorney and, and budget and things like that. Um, and my philosophy that I work with the families is, you know, it's great to age in place, but you need to age in the right place. So safety and care should be the top priority and then figure out what aging in place actually means. Um, like Troy, we get calls all day long that is not related to what we do. And so we need everyone in this room. I think that from this experience, we know a lot, but I just know enough to be extremely dangerous to give um, advice on Medicare or hospice or you know, home care or home health care or whatever. So, and of course, we need all of you. So, Lori Ferris, you're a living specialist, Houston. Who's next? <laughs> Okay. Hi, my name is Shannon Kappa. I am an end of life doula and patient advocate. And um, I support the supporters. I educate and I offer my time and my energy to help people go through some of the hardest moments of their life. Um, and I do this because um, it finds me. <laughs> so wherever I'm at, usually um, people will call me and say, hey, I know this person. Uh, can you come out and be with them while their mom dies? And so that's what I do. And I figured after the third time of that happening that, um, you know, I, I, I got the message. <laughs> and uh, now I'm doing this officially. So um, that's what I do. Thank you. 
morning. I'm Jason Blevins, owner of Seniors Helping Seniors Northwest Houston. Like some of you, we are an in-home senior care provider of companion care and personal assistance services. And we service from the Cypress, from 529 to Cypress, all the way to the Conroe area. Um, I'm a retired Army helicopter pilot, so it wasn't a real logical leap to <laughs> open this business. But I, uh, between caring for a special needs daughter at home and caring for our own aging parents, and as we research some business options, it's really when this one really kind of came to the surface. And the longer I've been in, uh, the more passion I'm getting. And I'm glad to be part of TSEC and, and get the option to help those seniors out that, that really gave us all the opportunities we've had along the way. So thank y'all very much. Jason, you know, Jason from Seniors Helping Seniors, uh, where we hire seniors to provide care for seniors. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming to Brookville Shadowly for our senior estate concierge meeting. Uh, my name is Keely Jones. I'm the business development director for Brookville Senior Living. We offer 18 uh, residential communities throughout the Houston market, independent living, assisted living, and memory care. We offer two skilled. So we offer senior community living hospitality and all that circumference of that. <laughs> Um, even though we have caregivers on our floor, we always welcome third-party providers in our buildings. And what else am I leaving out? I don't want to look at you because you've given me tips <laughs> on things to say. Um, otherwise, thank you all for yeah, coming. Changing the language. <laughs> um, we're trying to rebrand the language of senior living. Um, no, but we will be hosting the Southwest at our Brookdale First Colony, and I'm going to be speaking for South east for maybe Paraland or Clear Lake. <clears throat> um, and then we, I think that's our locations that I've got with you guys. Um, anyways, if you guys uh, have a client who could live better in community living, please let us know. We'd love to provide that senior hospitality. Thank you. <laughs> let me know later on. We got all inclusive going on these days. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Mary Christian. Okay. I'm with Sacred Choice Funeral Home, and uh, we of course specialize in burial cremation options, but really educating. And there's times when, like you, we get calls about everything and anything, and it's good to just pick up the phone and say, "Call this person; we'll take care of you." So thank you for everything that each and every one of you do. Was I supposed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one more thing. Um, I'm also part of the LGBT <coughs> Council of Aging, and we are having a meeting. We meet on the second uh, Thursday of each month, so it's coming up this Thursday at the Montrose Center, 830 to 10, but it really opens up a whole new community that really need all of our resources, so if y'all are interested in that, please join me. Uh, Thursday, this Thursday, Montrose Center, 830. I'm going. 830. 830. In the morning. In the morning. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for those intros. And uh, folks online that are, are visiting, um, I think you can see the whole idea of what we are is, you know, I love what Troy says. He's the puzzle master and where there's puzzle pieces, because really that's that really puts it in one sentence. Uh, you know, with all the resources that you have here that are trusted, you can go to anybody. And I mean, I get calls from somebody that needs this or that i don't know um but i know all you guys and that's and that's a great thing so with that we also have each month each meeting a member speaker opportunity and so today we have janet scudder uh, janet is a financial service professional with over 10 years experience in the financial services industry as a financial advisor she helps those preparing for retirement with planning for having enough income to support their retirement lifestyle by using strategies that maximize retirement income and savings while maintaining taxes and risk, which is important. Also, she educate, educates about the value of the family human capital. I like that. that family and business assets are protected, prepared for taxable events, have available succession and estate planning. Janet holds a bachelor's degree in accounting and also a master's degree in business from Stephen F. Austin. She has a series seven, 63, and 65 securities license with health and life insurance, and also a CPA and a CFP. So she's a member of West Houston, uh, Houston Women's Society of CPAs, and as well, Tech Society and uh, Houston Society of CPAs. 
Janet lives in Richmond. She's married with one son. She enjoys keeping healthy by participating in exercise classes, eating right, and participating with people in your life. So with that, no further ado, here's Janet. Okay. Let me see, where do I need to be? Well, uh, optimum spot is right about here. <laughs> do you want to sit and speak or do you want to stand and speak? You want to sit? I would, I would be more likely to be able to stand it if I could sit. Okay. Although I participate in healthy activities, my bones don't want to cooperate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to be right in front of you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Good. So, how about slides? Okay, right, Marion. She went to the ladies' room. Right. <laughs> there she is. There she is. She's back. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk today about Social Security. There's lots of topics in Social Security, but we're going to talk about start starting to take your benefits. Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Now, I can't see, so I'm going to turn around here. How many people have already decided at what age to start taking their benefits? Yes, at what age? Yes. But, I mean, you can be 50 and decide that you're going to do something because it fits into your plan. So, okay. So many people have. So uh, let, uh, we want to be sure that we have the, all the information that we need to make that choice to fit into what the rest of our plans are because that's critical. Okay, so how many of you know what FRA is? What does that stand for? FRA. 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 Uh, why? Good. No, okay. Okay. Great. We're, we're going to talk about that definition because it plays a lot in these slides. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay. Your benefit, which that's what everybody's interested in, right? Show me the money. Right. <laughs> Depends on how much you earned over your working career. And that is on your social security, what they call the work site. And you can get that information uh, in your portal and you can sign up for your portal as soon as possible because people are taking social security numbers that haven't been claimed and making them theirs. And then the benefit check goes to them instead of to the correct social security person or the real owner of the person. So be sure and uh, mm. be sure and go to the SSA.gov. There'll be some uh, websites in just a minute <clears throat> and sign up for your social, take, take your social security number and make sure that that benefit check goes to you. Okay, what we're gonna camp on is the age at which you apply for benefits. So those are the two things that are the biggest in determining what your benefit is. Okay, so next slide, please. FRA stands for full retirement age. Now, does everybody know their full retirement age? I do know. Yeah, I'm like 80 or something. <laughs> 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 okay. yeah, that's a good point you bring up. This schedule was um, uh, put into effect in 1983 because there were concerns in 1983, just like there are now, about the viability of the Social Security Trust Fund. And so they came up, one of the things they came up with was because now people are living longer and so forth, is to schedule out the full retirement age and that would make the funds last longer. So find your birth year and then you can tell what your full retirement age is and remember what it is because that's gonna be important in the next couple slides. Next slide, please. Okay. There, you can start taking Social Security at age 62. However, if that is less than your full retirement age, then you get a haircut. 
on your benefit. <laughs> and this is a schedule of how much comes out of your uh, benefit if you start earlier, <clears throat> excuse me, than your full retirement age. So if your full retirement age is 66 and you start at 64, then you get 86.7% of your benefit. And if your full retirement age is 67, then you get 80% of your benefit. Now, this locks it in for life, except for two exceptions. We'll talk about that in a bit. You know, there's got to be always exceptions to go to the rules. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and it says you'll receive a percentage of your PIA. That's primary insurance amount. And that primary insurance amount is the equivalent of what your benefit is. And there's a whole long formula that that's that your uh, work record and information have to go through, which it takes the time I have to tell you what the formula is. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so what happens after full retirement age? And I learned something today. So, you know, there's always room for learning, right? Mm -hmm. That this, um, these credits came a lot earlier than I had thought. People have been retiring at age 70 for a very long time and receiving uh, delayed credits from their, what the, well, before 1983, it was called normal retirement age. And now it's full retirement age. <laughs> anyway, um, if you are, uh, if your FRA is 66, then at 69, you get 124% of your benefit. Or if, you don't take it until if you don't take it, if you don't delay yes. Of taking it. Yes. Okay. Now, how many of you are invested in the market? Oh, most people. Okay. Where can you get an 8% guarantee? annual return for three to four years. This is a good deal. Something to really consider. The okay. closest thing is annuities, but a lot of people don't like annuities. Well, the, it's the closest thing, but even the, well, I'm not gonna, it, yes. Well, we can talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, lots of, lots of information about annuities. Anyway, um, so deferred credits, and if you're 68 and your full retirement age is 67, then you'll have 108% of your full retirement age benefit or your PIA. Next slide, please. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so how do you choose what age to uh, start your social security benefits? Well, there's lots of factors. One of the first thing is to know what your retirement plans are. There's tax implications, there's cash flow impl implications, and there's, of course, you know, all of us know how long we're going to live, right? <laughs> so, you know, it kind of, and that fits in with the health status. But, so let, let's talk about health status. If you're not in good health now, the chances are that you probably will go forward however long, since we all know, um, however long that is with health status as not good. If you're extremely healthy, that's definitely a factor to consider, especially if you're going to be taking benefits longer, okay? So if you, anyway. You know that. Okay, life expectancy. Life expectancy is going up. Right now, life expectancy is in the early to mid 80s. And of course, the ladies have a longer life expectancy than the guys. So um, that's definitely a consideration. Do you have a need for income? Uh, a prime example is during the pandemic, lots of people were laid off. Well, if you were 62 and had no income, that would be a resource for you. You could take that income. Now, remember, you get that haircut and it's for life except for two exceptions. <laughs> okay, now, whether or not you plan to work, if you're under FRA, there's something called the annual 
earnings test. If you make over 19,560 this year, it'll change for next year, then your, um, your benefit, if you're taking it, gets deducted. No, no you've already had a haircut. Okay. This gets deducted <laughs> for every $2 over that 19,560, $1, okay? So if your income is $19,562, <laughs> one dollar of your benefit goes back into the pot. Now you don't lose it like the like the, the haircut. You lose it, except for the two exceptions. Uh, <laughs> uh, you you it goes back into the pot and it's distributed back to you when you when you reach full retirement age, okay? Now, when you reach the year that you are your FRA, then the annual earnings test goes up to $51,960. And at that time, then for every $3 over that $51,960, you get $1 taken away. So until the birth month that you turn your full retirement age. Okay. Okay. There's not right. Okay. Survivor needs are a great consideration because if, a, if you're married, if you're single, then, you know, when you pass, then so does your social security benefit. Uh, but if you're married, and there's two spouses and spouse one gets claims on their work record and spouse two has deferred so they have a larger benefit. If spouse two passes, then spouse one gets the higher of the benefits. So it can make a lot of difference to that survivor. Okay, next page, please. Okay, so here's key points to remember. If, you're, if you apply early, your benefit starts lower and stays lower for life. Okay, so what are the two exceptions? Anybody interested? <laughs> if you have started taking early and you've taken for less than one year, there's a form you can fill out. That form is on ssa.gov. And you can pay back the benefits you've received and your work, your record will start as if you had never taken. Hmm. The second exception is if you start before full retirement age, you go to full retirement age, and then you tell Social Security, I don't want to take it any longer. The Social Security <clears throat> Administration will start accumulating your deferred credits, but at the rate you were at, when you told them to stop. Okay, any questions about that? Those are the only, those are the only two exceptions. Okay, a COLA is a cost of living adjustment. Most of you are familiar with that. The key thing here is if you start with lower benefits, then even for the increases that you get by the cost of living allowance, you get farther and farther behind the uh, deferred benefits because those percentage COLA increases are accumulating on larger amounts. So that's, a, that's another thing to remember. And we talked a little bit about the survivor benefits. Those other, the, the other COLA provides even more incentive for that surviving spouse. Okay, is there any question on that? A, a, a good example is if the if spouse one, and I'm making up numbers, okay. If spouse one gets $1,000 a month and spouse two, because they delay, gets $3,000 a month, okay. The first COLA would be 1,100, oh, and the rate is 10%. Last year's increase was 5.9%. It'd be uh -huh. interesting to see this year's. Yeah, really. yeah. yeah. This year's should. Is that related to inflation? 
Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's based on certain endings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, 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 okay. So the the spouse one would receive one thousand one hundred the next year in the next year. The spouse that had the three thousand dollar income a month income would receive three thousand three hundred. So you can see how important it is for the spouse that's left behind to have that higher amount. Um, next slide, please. Okay, so here's where you can go and set up your statement. And if you have not, do so as soon as possible and claim your social security number. If you want estimates on your retirement benefits, there's two other, oh, okay. On your, on your my statement, you will see your estimates based on your work record. But the other two, you have to put in numbers for your work record. It doesn't go out and search for your work record. But those are two other calculators that you can estimate your retirement benefits. Now in your statement, it's an estimate because your statement, your work record changes every year. And the benefit calculation is based on the highest 35 years. So if you had to be out of the workforce for one year and you had a zero, but you worked in a high income job, the, you know, later in life, it would replace that one zero. So that could make your, oh, I, I, as an example, I had a client who looked at her work record. So that's another reason for going and setting up your work record. Looked at her work record, found out that they entered the information incorrectly and talked with the Social Security Administration, sent all the documentation in that was necessary. They changed her work record and she got $50 a month more because of that change. Nice. So, and like I said, each year that work, not, not only does the formula change a little bit, but it could increase because of your working at a higher salary than somewhere down the line. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Okay, so social security is really important. Be sure you know at least the important parts of social <laughs> I know somebody that knows social security backwards and forwards. She worked for the social security administration for 30 years. So barring working there 30 years, know the most important and impactful parts of social security. See how it integrates with the rest of what your resources are and make sure they're compatible to meet your goals. Okay, now I can give you a free report to see what your social security benefits are estimated again based on what's available now. So if you want that free report, and it's especially important for couples, uh, just let me know. Any questions? No questions? Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. Well, thank you. I have a question. What, have we got? what is the portal? Could you give us the thing that's- Oh, go, can you go back a couple SSA. slides? SSA.gov. SSA. 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 isn't it? Social Security Administration. Yeah. G O V. I learned the other day. That's why I thought it was S S N. No, S S N. I have a question. <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Did you have a question? Uh, if you have a pension, does that change anything about your Social Security benefits? It depends on the pension. It depends. depends on where the pension is from. What if it's from a private sector? Yeah. Did you pay Social Security? Well, you work for that employer. Yes. Then no, it won't affect it. But if you pay, if you, now this is beyond, above and beyond. <laughs> if you work for a governmental entity and you, or a nonprofit and you did not pay into Social Security, it will definitely affect your benefits. And it will affect, you don't qualify. I'm sorry? You don't qualify. You don't pay in. Well, no, it, yeah, right. You have to qualify first, but some people have both the 40 quarters 
and a government location. Yes. So, yeah, it's yep. called what? I did, and, I did my wife. Yeah. Now she worked under Social Security for 14 years and then went to work for a school district, yep. yeah. which right. is TRS. Mm -hmm. And she had to choose which one. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teachers. Yes. Railroad. She had to choose. Railroad. 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 Yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's some calculations. Oh, okay. Let's see which is higher. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> there's legislation that's being considered now to take out those rules. So who knows? Be sure and watch the news. <laughs> Everything's changing every day. Right? Deal with the government all the time, and it's not fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Jen. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Really Thank you. Really, so appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Um, Keely's going to make one announcement, and then I've got a few things I want to talk about. Um, so go ahead, Keely. Um, real quick. Uh, one thing I always forget to mention, which is very important that Brookdale does offer, is we have some great um, pro benefits. One thing is if your client can't afford the upfront cost to move into one of our communities, Brookdale does, um, oh, this is my son's school. Um, Brookdale, <laughs> we work with Elder Life Financial Services, which we could provide a loan to that client. Maybe they have a house to sell. Brookdale will pay the interest. And then when you sell the house, that can pay for the loan, but we can go ahead and get that client into our communities and get the care that they need. Another thing is large employer groups. Um, we give large uh, employer group benefits to those who might be in a large organization or a company of 5,000 people and more. So Rotary is a nonprofit, but that is part of our large employer group, maybe like Exxon or whoever, all these companies that have more than 5,000 people. We offer a benefit to that individual plus their circle of family. So their children, their sisters, brothers, parents, all the way around their family. Um, they would get a forever discount of 7.5% off plus 10% off of personal care, plus a certain percentage off of respite stays depending on the community. But these are different incentives that we offer um, and I never share them. So I was like, I need to share it. So that's it. I've got to step out for a few calls and I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, a couple of uh, 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 visitors, if you want to sit and listen to this, that's fine. It's kind of more organizational uh, announcements, um, some events. It's housekeeping. What's that? It's housekeeping things. Um, some are, and some are just events. So um, first off, have you all heard about Twilight Wish? Raise your hand if you have. All right, so everybody has, most everybody. Twilight Wish is like Make-A-Wish, but for, for seniors. Organization started, it's a nonprofit started in Pennsylvania. Lori connected us with the Twilight Wish founders. We are gonna start a Houston chapter here. Um, we're working on it. The team members are gonna be Barry, Lori, me, and Kim Ward over at Belmont, okay? So us four are gonna start working on it. And basically what we're gonna do is start a chapter and we're gonna start doing some fundraising. And then we're gonna connect up with some seniors that uh, it, it's a make a wish for seniors. So we're gonna find those seniors that uh, we can help their wish come true. So it's kind of a, I always wanted a foundation for the senior state country here. And so that's gonna be our first foundation that we can support. So, yay. All right. Nice. With that tomorrow, I'm gonna to be interviewing Peter Stenson who is the founder of or the ex executive director of Twilight Wish on YouTube at Marion, three o'clock, three o'clock. You wanna get on YouTube tomorrow at three o'clock? We're gonna do about a 30 minute interview like we've done with a lot of you guys already, okay? So um, try to tune in if you can. Peter's a great guy and the whole organization is wonderful. So- and while you're there, there make sure you subscribe to our channel. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. We need more subscribers, everybody subscribe. There's some. Awesome people out there, <laughs> right? All right, um, YMCA Educational Series. Everybody knows about that, all right? All right, good. So this month is Joyce. Uh, yep, uh, we're gonna do legal and it's at Lamb Creek. I know Marion already mentioned this. So Lamb Creek, which is up in Copperfield. Hopefully, eventually we get these going there and we're gonna start them at all the YMCA's around Houston. That's the goal. Um, plain telephone tag with the senior director of all the senior programs okay so um so we did ymca all right i've got my list here um 
All right. This is probably really important. Most important is next month, we're gonna be kind of making some changes again with the organization and the meetings. I know we've done this a couple of times. Okay. With COVID, we've had to adjust. Um, Lori's fault. What's that? It's Lori's fault. Troy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna start up again, the Northwest chapter, Southwest chapter, Southeast chapter, and Central. So um, Northwest is gonna be Troy, and Jason as leader and co-leader. Central is gonna be Steven and he's still looking for someone to help him, a co-leader. Each chapter will have a, a leader and a co-leader. Um, Southeast is gonna be Cindy and Don. Southwest is Michael Wingfield and Suzanne. You're still on Suzanne? Yep, you're on, okay. So what, they're, what we're gonna do is each area chapter will have one meeting a month. Right, um, and then we're going to do an all members meeting once a month. I'm going to run the all meeting. The all meeting will be the fourth Tuesday every month, and the other area chapter meetings will be whatever the leader and co-leader decides on the day, week, and the time and the location. So all that's being worked out. Okay. So will like the northwest, southeast, southwest be the same day and the same place? Probably not. Hopefully not. And the reason why I say hopefully no, not. No, 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 no. Once they decide. Oh, yes. Like, yes. Consistently so each month, them. they will be yeah. the same. Yes. Okay. They all meeting, all group meeting, I plan on having, trying to get three or four locations and rotating it. Hopefully a kind of different parts of the city so that, you know, we don't have one that everybody, because the whole idea is everybody gets there. And also with the area chapters, any member of Northwest can go visit Southeast. And in fact, we encourage it, right? Like the one-on-ones, get to know who else is in the organization. You're gonna do that in the all meeting, hopefully if you go, but you're also welcome to do that any other time, okay? Um, and as you all know, there's always two, two seats per industry per chapter. So, but don't think of it as competition. Think of it as how can you work together to help seniors and families? Cause that's what we're here for, serving, right? Uh, it's not just about building business. It's like, that's the secondary, objective um so that's the area chapters go ahead see the questions and i've already talked with keely we're going to stay here for some time so second the central will be here central will be here second second Tuesday. Tuesday. Just like we southwest i think is going to be at first colony right. northwest so haven't have decided yet but time? you could it's going to be in my office yeah, just think about it. maybe at cbna realtors time. office on jones road but we will get an announcement out hopefully within the next week ish okay. or so. Of all of them. Of all so of them. Southeast, right. I think we're going to try for Clear Lake, Brookdale. Brookdale, Clear Lake. Okay. And and the and the one the first one of okay. all meetings in May is going to be at Belmont Village, Hunters Creek. Okay. What do you mean the first? The first all, all meeting, which is the last last Tuesday, Tuesday of the month. Right. So we're not changing right? the fourth Tuesday of the month. Okay. So, gotcha. That'll be in the newsletter. Uh, and all that, all that will get out. So watch your emails, try to read them. Okay. Gotcha. I, I know uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, events. Uh, so we got the, the YouTube interview tomorrow, which is big. Brandon, are you still on there? Yeah. So Brandon's a visitor. I talked to him yesterday. They've got a, a networking event coming up at Top Golf. When is it again, Brandon? It's going to be Tuesday, April 26th from 4 to 7. Would, would love to have anybody that would like to join, uh, come over for snacks and a, and a few drinks and even try out your golf swing. There you go. Excellent. So um, uh, I-10 near yeah, Hopkins. And we'll get that out to everybody, okay? Yes. So, and it's, um, you know, what, senior service providers, right, basically? is, is Absolutely. What Absolutely. So it's a good way to make, again, more connections, you know? So if you're interested, I love golf, so I will probably be there. <laughs> what day was that again, Brandon? April what? It's a Tuesday, April 26th. 26th, yeah, I'll be in town, good. All right, um, any other events? Um, so there was something else coming up. It seemed like it was at Belmont, but I don't recall now. Did we decide on anything for the senior expo in May? Oh, that's right. Uh, that's probably, I, honestly, with my email, I said, yeah, I just don't have the time. I mean, we've got, okay, so that, that reminds me why. I don't have the time for that. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. BBB award ceremony, it's the 100th year. It's coming up in probably, I think, October. Uh, we are going to really push to try to get an award for the senior state con chair. They don't have a category for us. So it's kind of like, we're going to. Maybe in my category. 
It'll be in your category. Okay. So we'll be competing against Barry. <laughs> so anyway, that's a that's a big deal, and we really want to shine there. Um, and we are part of BBB. It's on the website. And when is that? Uh, October something. I don't know exactly. Um, and the applications do come out July. And I told Bill, I'm happy to take care of that application. I really, really want us to win that event or even get the recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Get, we won last year, and it was a really good event. For us. And Lori, Barry, myself, and Dan Baldwin sit on the um, board for the Education Foundation for the BBB. So that's kind of our in there also. And, um, and they're starting the senior talking series. Yeah. Which, which we'll talk about some more as it gets going. Yeah, exactly. So we got the YMCA educational series going. These are the reasons why I'm not sure about the senior trade show. Yeah. I really want to get the YMCA education series going at YMCA's and then other locations, hopefully. Um, we got the BBB, we got the Twilight Wish, and then we got the new chapters all starting. So for me, <laughs> I'm tapped out. Oh, yeah, if because, somebody wants to do the because, guess what? Huh? You need to sell real estate. And I need to sell real estate <laughs> to make a living, right? Oh, so. yeah, there's that. Yeah. So, you know, so, yeah. There's that side thing I need, to, I need to do to survive before I get on Social Security. <laughs> Check out a few more years. Um, my granddaughter's birthday is today. My oldest. Oh, How old do you think I have a granddaughter? I have three. 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 The oldest is 12 today. I know, almost a teenager. So, but I'm a few years from Social Security. So I do have to make money from real estate. So bring it my way. <laughs> is there a way Brandon Harrison could share his info with us so that we can participate yeah. in that other senior? Yeah, it event? should be on the chat, but we will get that out for sure. Okay, great. Yeah. Along, along those same Thank lines, you. is there a listing somewhere of people's contact information? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. We've been asking that for so long. I've been pushing the website, guys, to get a directory on the website so that you can go. Um, if not there, we can get you on the G Drive, the Google Drive. If you familiar with Google Drive, huh? Just talk call Mary and she'll get you connected to the Google Drive. Well, we can do is send you a link. If you've got a Google account, which is easy to set up, you can get on the, the Google Drive, the okay. G Drive, and we got a lot of information on there. But besides that, we're trying to, we're really pushing the website guys to get that directory online. Yeah, that would be great. I have a little question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, do I need a next to it from here? Well, I'm you might, because we can hear you. If you speak so softly. <laughs> <laughs> so there, um, there's an organization called Heaven Instead. And Jessica Taylor, she's a founder. She's a nurse that works at Texas Children's. Um, and it really helps people that, especially young families that lose a child. The criteria is the child does have to be 20 weeks or older for them to receive um, financial aid. Mm. And uh, funeral homes, you know, we try to, to help families so that they really don't have to pay for that kind of service. So this whole month, they are having a fundraiser. And I would really appreciate if you, you know, would support this organization. They do amazing things. And... Um, I emailed over Mary and the flyer. So if you're able to, please feel free to donate. I know they would appreciate it and we really love all of your support. So thank you. All right. Thanks, Mary. All right. Um, I know we're kind of hold on a minute just real quick before you leave. Real quick, um, the stack, the rack cards. Please, everybody take one and give us your feedback. If you see anything that you want to change on that, because we're going to order some more here pretty soon. And so if there's any month, 